13 Reasons Why is a TV show produced by Netflix that tries as hard as possible to be the saddest thing ever put on television. I don't like it. I wish I could say I had 13 specific reasons because that would be funny, but I don't. It follows the story of someone who has what can only be described as the worst life that's ever been, and then they kill themselves, and then their one real friend has all of the weight and blame of this thrust onto their shoulders because they're the only ones who really care enough to find out. I mean, her parents aside, but they're, they're far too emotionally broken at this point to do anything else. So I'll wave them. Anyways, he rides his little bicycle that he owns and listens to her. She see, she left, the reason it's called 13 Reasons Why, is she has squarely blamed the group of people, not 13 of them, but in a series of 13 tapes for her suicide, blamed them directly. And the way it's written, it actually is their fault, which is hard to, you know, suspect, because usually in a situation like this, it's not really one person's fault, you know, it's a complex situation. No. In this show, it is 13 specific events that are really awful, and then she kills herself. And then it's over. And that's it. That's the whole show. Everyone's really into it. But it's just that. It's just a, they wrote a sad story possible where someone has the worst life, they kill themselves, and then they make you feel, try to make you feel bad through some random guy that you don't really know. And to top it all off, the, the main character who's the saddest one here is also, you know, personally really unlikable. I don't like the main characters. They're all annoying. The acting's good. The lighting is good. The, everything, the design of it's good. The plot and the writing are abysmal. It's just a sad, it's, it's like someone said, Hey George, we're going to write a new TV show. What you got? Well, you see, I, I, I wanted to write the saddest thing possible. Oh, George, that's a great idea. What do you got? It's a story of a, of a little girl, you know, like like your daughter. And, um, you know, she's in high school and everyone's mean because it's high school. And and everyone's awful and then she kills herself. That's kind of been done, hasn't it? No, no, hold on. Her life is so bad. She just, she, there's no other course. That's it. She just dies. So there's no, like, is it a good thing or a bad thing? No, it, it's just it. It's just over. It just ends. I love your style. And that's it, that's the whole show. It's just that. It's like they tried to make the saddest, most meme-worthy thing on the planet. It's all about feelings and being sad for like 20 hours or something of, of space. And I wish I could say more about the plot, but it's just that. It's just one person's horrible two years of school that are insane. I mean, it's full of crazy, crazy things. Rapists and alcoholics and just general badness. And it's really extreme, because it's supposed to be set in a tiny little town that's great, but apparently everyone here is the spawn of Satan himself, because they're just the worst people, and no one cares. And she's a normal-ish person who's not necessarily... They're not bad. She's, she's normal and kind of annoying, which, I mean, people are, so whatever. And then she dies, and then her friend is a kind of a normal wishy-washy guy, but whatever, that's a normal trait. And then everybody else is the worst human specimen. We're talking like Cain and Abel level awfulness here. And then that's the whole show. And then there's, it's supposed to be profound, but it's just profoundly disappointing.